Hey, this is Ralph, and in this demonstration, I want to use the picture tag with some source tags to basically deliver up different images based on the user's device width and their web page. That's kind of tricky to think about, but basically, let's say there's a situation where you want to display an image on your web page, but if the user is on a mobile phone, a smartphone, you want to display a different image. So basically, we could serve up a kind of like a, a low res or low version image for the smartphone user versus the um, desktop user. And the only thing we're really doing there is saving a little bit of bandwidth for them. So let's see how that would work out. Now, on my markup here, Instead of using the IMG tag to display an image, I'm going to use the picture tag. And then within that, I'm going to have uh, several things here. Let's see, I will do um, a source tag. And you might be familiar with the source tag because of the video tag or the audio tag. However, with the source tag, I followed up with an SRC attribute. But this time, though, I'm going to go ahead and put in a source set attribute. And this will be one of my images, so I'll just go ahead and plug in, um, I've got a puffin.jpg in there, okay? But I'm going to have another source, let's see, source, source set, images slash, I think I've got a mountain bike in there, let's see, I've got a note off to the side, yep, mountainbike.jpg, that looks good. I should be putting alt attributes in there too, I'll do that in just a second. And then we're going to follow it up with our default image, which is just going to be the good old image tag, source equals images, slash, and I've got some mittens on there. Great, okay. Not done yet though, because I only want to serve up the mountain bike picture and the puffin picture if the user's device is of a certain width. So for my second source, I'm going to go ahead and put in a media attribute. Media equals min width. And we'll go kind of small here so it's easy for us to test. I'll do 400 pixels. There we go. And for the puffin picture, media equals min width, and let's just do 800 pixels on there. Yeah, so basically, for very small devices, under 400 pixels, I should see a picture of some gloves or mittens. Um, if the device is bigger than 400 pixels, then I should see a picture of a mountain bike. And then if the device is bigger than 800 pixels, I should see a picture of a puffin, a bird. Now, before I test this in my browser, I do want to do some quick styling up here. And I'm going to take my picture element, and I'm going to display it as a block. I'm going to set its width to be 80% uh, of the device width with a max width of 500 pixels. I'm going to give it margin, 40 pixels top and bottom, auto left and right, kind of center it on the screen. And uh, just so it's really clear, I'll put a big blur on here too. 8 pixels solid, something dark red. Now I want to make sure that all of my images and picture, uh, my sources, all of those images, I want to make sure that they're within the, con uh, the confines of my picture element. So I'm going to do a picture, child selector asterisk, and we'll put a max width of 100% on all of those elements. So any element that's within my picture is going to have a max width of 100% of its parent. And of course, my picture element is going to be 80% um, wide with a max width of 500 pixels centered on the page. Let's see what kind of trouble we've gotten ourselves into here. So I'm going to jump right over here. And here we go. So we've got our puffin. Now, if you recall, my puffin picture is only to be displayed if the device is 800 pixels or wider, which it's fair to say that's where I'm at. Let me go into my mobile emulator, and I'm under responsive here, so which means I can scroll this left and right. So if I take this device, and you can see here with my responsive width, um, I'm gonna go to just below 800, and you see now I've got the mountain bike picture, cool. And if I bring this even smaller to less than 400, it'll switch over to the mittens, the gloves. So that's what we're doing here. We're basically telling the browser that there are multiple options for this image to display. 
um, by default, I'm going to display my image using the image tag. However, if the device is up to 400 pixels wide, then I'm going to display my mountain bike picture. If the device is 800 pixels wide or wider, then I'm going to display the puffin picture using the picture tag with source tags and, of course, one backup image tag in there. And that gives us the look we're going for with the appropriate image for that particular user. And there we go. So now we can serve up different images for our users based on their device width or orientation, even though I didn't try that one this time. Thanks for hanging out with me.